On behalf of Fred, Scott, Brenda, and I, as board members of Media Infinity Investments, I'd like to bring greetings to the PCMNO. My name is Lindsay Boyd, and I'm the vice chair of Media Infinity Investments. In my former role as director of First Nation Media Affairs at Union Gas, I had the pleasure to work with Gary Lipinski and Joanne on a regular basis and always felt that the MNO had by far the best legal framework for economic development with your prosperity and self sufficiency law that helped to create Made Infinity Investments, which, of course, is charged with building long term economic prosperity for all Made citizens. I know I can speak for Fred, Scott, and Brenda to say that we're absolutely thrilled knowing the importance of self determination for the MNO to for us to be here, I should say, when the federal government, of course, finally and formally in the fall of 2019, recognized Meadey self-government. I'd like to congratulate you on knowing it is a, has been a long road to success in this regard. Myself, I've read a lot of articles, including one by Tony Belcourt. I think it was in the August 2019 article on the Meadey Voyager. Yes, it was. Um, helped me better understand what a huge milestone this was to the MNO. I didn't realize until I read that article that the Ontario Corporations Act had actually encumbered you when it comes to processes, policies, and bylaws versus having your own constitution and your own laws that would better benefit media citizens. This time, I'd like to introduce to you uh, my fellow board members, Brenda LaRose and Fred Lazar, who unfortunately neither one could be with us today. Fred, of course, is chair of Media Infinity Investments and also the associate professor at the Schulich School of Business and has been appointed to the Department of Economics. His area of expertise is economics, aviation, broadcasting, and corporate governance. And Fred has done a lot of work outside of his formal job as a professor, helping students with innovation and entrepreneurship, especially younger students. Brenda is a Mady citizen, no stranger to many of you, who has over 25 years of experience leading executive search engagements throughout most of Canada. Before joining Leaders International, Brenda formed Higgins Executive Search and developed a national practice, which is now recognized as a Canadian leader in the recruitment of diversity and Indigenous executive and board members. She's an executive member of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce, sits on many committees, including the Diversity and the Inclusion Committee. Brenda is a certified management charter professional uh, and finally, Brenda was a 2015 recipient of the National Inspire Award for Business and Commerce. It was named the Canadian Council Aboriginal Business recipient of the 2019 Aboriginal Hall of Fame Lifetime Achievement Award. This time, it's my pleasure to introduce Scott, turn it over to him to make a brief presentation to the PCMNO. Hello, welcome everybody um, to the annual General Assembly for the Métis Nation of Ontario. And uh, I'm, uh, my name is Scott Patlas Richardson, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer for Métis Infinity Investments. And uh, I want to uh, welcome all of the um, Métis leadership at the Provisional Council for the MNO, uh, all the MNO staff and uh, supports that we have, and uh, all of the senators, elders, and uh, delegates. And uh, I'm looking forward to a successful AGA. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be providing an update on behalf of Métis and Finney Investments, our board of directors. Uh, we do have one of our other board members who is able to uh, video uh, conference in all these challenges with uh, remote communications uh, during this global pandemic. But uh, once again, welcome everybody and I hope you appreciate our updates. All right, I'd like to just present an overview of uh, Métis and Finney Investments. Uh, we were formed in 2015 uh, to be the economic development arm of the Métis Nation of Ontario with a vision to be the preeminent uh, Métis Economic Development Corporation in all of Canada uh, with a mission to build economic prosperity within the Métis Nation and, and bridge the gap between industry, government, Métis communities and its citizens. And uh, we are looking to be a profitable entity uh, to ensure adequate reinvestment capital for our long-term growth and prosperity. Um, Métis Infinity Investments is governed by, is owned by the Métis Infinity uh, uh, Trust, m and Trust, and uh, that's governed by a board of trustees, and uh, Métis Infinity Investments has, a, has its own independent board of directors um, outside of the political realm, and uh, 
Uh, Fred Lazar is our chairperson. Uh, Lindsay Boyd and Brenda LaRose, a proud Métis citizen herself, are our board of directors. And as CEO, myself, Scott Patlas Richardson, uh, serves as ex officio uh, director as well. And uh, we're acting on a, uh, a four, fourth year of our five year strategic plan, which we uh, revisit annually. And that's all about fostering partnerships, building capacity, enhancing our competitiveness, and getting results. Uh, so uh, we've built a portfolio of companies, uh, which includes the majority share of MO Solar, which owns and operates uh, over 60 solar projects in Ontario, uh, generating up to uh, 18 megawatts of power. Uh, we did a recent investment in the insurance uh, business with Switch Insurance, which is um, Métis owned, uh, majority Métis owned and operated. And uh, we also acquired a large regional HVAC company called Red Lake Plumbing and Heating in 2019, which employs uh, 17 um, staff, Red Seal tickets, as well as is uh, overseen by our general manager, who is uh, also an MNO citizen. And we have a number of successful construction joint ventures in, mining, in the mining and service uh, areas. And uh, in terms of our results of the last year, we did turn a profit. And uh, in the first year of inception in 2015, without any uh, capitalization, we did turn a profit. And uh, from 2016 to 2020, we've had five years of consistent profitability, and we've consistently grown our balance sheet um, and accrued profits for reinvestment to buy additional companies and employ additional Métis citizens. And so in 2019, a uh, year past, we participated in over $20 million in gross contracting revenues through our various entities, and we employed over 50 uh, individuals. So we've, we've, we're pleased with our success. And uh, 2020 was uh, another year of profitability. Uh, we did limit our growth just due to the, uh, of course, a little thing called COVID-19 and the global pandemic. 2020 was dominated by the global pandemic. Uh, so. In general, uh, overall profitability of small businesses in Canada was down, and uh, we did have a rebound with some of the waves, uh, but the pace of recovery has been slow. Uh, however, despite these in, uh, decreased revenues and some of the economic uncertainty, Infinity has uh, performed well, uh, and we've been managing our, our uh, companies uh, very profitably. Uh, it, 2020 marks our sixth straight year of profitability. And uh, we, we, we had a slower year simply due to COVID-19 uh, with restrictions in some of the operations of our, of our operating entities. Um, but uh, we're still pleased overall that we've been managed, uh, we've managed to uh, operate in a, in a functional way. Uh, we have focused on our health and safety of our staff uh, and our operations. We have leveraged um, some of the employee, uh, some of the grants from the federal government um, we, we've had no reports of COVID-19 with our staff and our business partners, um, but a result of our uh, prudent uh, financial and fiscal management, and our low risk decision making, as well as utilizing some of the government grants and programs, we, um, we were, were able to maintain our profitable uh, portfolio. And we're going to continue to monitor the operations of our partner businesses with a particular uh, focus on health and the well-being of our employees to continue to grow for the future. Uh, the economy is expected to, uh, to recover. Uh, we're hoping we're watching the uh, variants and uh, the next wave, this is the fourth wave as they call it, uh, but uh, uh, economic forecasts uh, show that there is a return to growth. We've seen that firsthand with our companies and our revenues uh, coming back in line. Uh, there's still some uncertainty due to the, uh, the fourth wave um, it's really important that we see a recovery in the mining and energy sector because that is uh, where a lot of our growth and our um, business is maintained. Uh, beyond 2022, uh, there's going to be a gradual recovery and we're going to be continue to look for partnerships to foster growth. Um, we are uh, talking with the trustees, the board of trustees and ultimately the MNO to look at further uh, consideration for capitalization, just to accelerate our growth and to continue uh, with our trajectory about uh, economic prosperity for all of the Métis Nation of Ontario and its citizens. So uh, we do have a plan and the plan is to maintain our profitability into 2022 and beyond. And uh, the levels will partially depend on uh, some of the uh, COVID uh, recovery 
but uh, we're confident that uh, the continued management of our resources and uh, continued good reputation and uh, doing the right thing, working with Métis citizens, communities, and leadership, that uh, Métis Finity Investments will continue to grow and prosper into the future. So, Marcy, thank you, and I really appreciate, I hope everybody enjoys the uh, all the uh, remote, uh, unfortunately, uh, activities of the annual General Assembly, and uh, thank you all. Thank you for that presentation, Scott. Very informative. So I know I speak for Fred, Scott, and Brandon, myself, when I say we sincerely thank you for the opportunity to participate on the Board of Media Infinity Investments. It's been a true honor and pleasure over the last five years. We very much look forward to meeting all of you at some point in the future, face-to-face, -face, we hope, once we get rid of this major COVID threat that seems to run our lives. Now, if anyone from the PCMNO ever wants to connect with Fred, Scott, Brenda, or I, please do not hesitate to do so. Um, you can always ask Joanne or Margaret for uh, contact information, but for now, here's our email addresses. So for Fred, it's flazar, L-A-Z-A-R, at york.ca. For Brenda, it's brenda at leaders, just like it sounds, leadersinternational.com. For myself, lboyd2222 at gmail.com. And of course, finally, Scott at s-p-a-t-i-e-s at infinityinvestments.ca. So thank you again for your time and attention. I hope you have a great meeting today. Make which.